Alright guys, today I am going to be doing a collective haul. I have a couple of things from various places that I have been wanting to do a haul with and just have not had a chance to yet. So I figured I would put everything together in this video. So hopefully um, this will interest everyone. Um, I have Dollar Tree. I just have big lots. I have some stuff I got from Easter from my boyfriend and um, some stuff I had picked up from a sale at my old job. And if you follow me for a while and you have seen older videos um, from those work sales, then you'll understand. Uh, but I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff first and then we will move on from there. So at Dollar Tree, it had been a while since I went and I just wanted to take a look around at stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys what I found. Um, randomly, I'm just going to pick up the first thing. I got these Refresh Your Car Dual Scent Mini Diffusers. And the scent is Wildflowers and Love. They just look like this. And it says they're made by Energizer, um, like the makers of, of batteries. Uh, so I love when I find stuff at Dollar Tree that's not Dollar Tree brand. Like that's the stuff I like to look for personally. That's just my preference when I go to Dollar Tree. I love finding non-Dollar Tree stuff there. <laughs> so I, as you can see, already have one in my car and these are working really well. I still smell the scent and I probably purchased this like two weeks ago. So I definitely feel like, you know, the scent is lasting and it smells nice. It's a nice it's a really nice smell. I can't even really describe it. It's a floral, but it's got like a sweetness to it. I think it smells great though. So for a dollar for two, and like I said, it still smells. So I would definitely pick them up again if I see them. Um, I found a couple of just beauty products. They had some new Rimmel products. I got just one. They had... Um, Goodness gracious, I don't remember exactly what all they had, but I know they had more than just these Color Rush, um, they're called Intense Color Balms, like lip balms with color. And they had different colors, but I just chose this one, and the shade is called, I don't know, I don't know, it's 001, but I'm going to open it up and do a swatch a on it just so we can see what it looks like but obviously Rimmel at Dollar Tree great deal there so let's see what this looks like I know they had a red I all the other colors were darker and you guys know I'm more into pinks and neutrals so this looked more oh that smells good it has a really nice it has a nice sweet scent to it so I just do a swatch on my hand. That definitely looks like a color I will wear. It's not like super dark, which is nice. Just a nice light pink shade. So that's a great deal for a dollar and it smells really good too. Um, next beauty product I got was just this Carmex Strawberry Lip Balm. I don't, I've never had the Strawberry Carmex and I like the smell of regular Carmex. So I figured I would try the strawberry since it seems a little more like summery. As far as scent goes, I want to smell it. Mm, and it smells really, really good. It has a super sweet strawberry scent. And it does, it has a little bit of that actual Carmex smell in there mixed with the sweet strawberry smell. I'm going to put a little on. Mmm. I like that because I like the original Carmex. Like I love the smell of original Carmex and it definitely has that smell, but mixed with the sweet strawberry. So I really like that. Uh, the other lip balm I got was the Blamtastic um, Super Blam Lip Balm. I know I've seen other people haul this before and I've always been just curious about it. Um, it just says it's a yummy natural flavor. I don't know what that's supposed to smell like, so we got to sniff it, right? And the packaging is interesting. It looks like a cupcake. Like that's what it reminds me of, like a cupcake or a muffin. Um, 
how would I describe that scent? It's like a, it's like a fruit. There's a fruitiness to it. Almost like, I want to say mango or something, which is weird considering it just says it's a natural, what did it say? A yummy natural flavor. I think it's a definite like fruity mango-ish kind of scent. It smells nice though. And it's a cute little packaging. And now since I just put that Carmex on, I can't try it out, but um, I am curious to see what that's like. Um, I also found they had a bunch of Sinful Colors nail polish. I didn't go crazy, I just picked up one. I thought this one was really pretty. And the shade of this is called Holla Days. Holla as in H-O-L-L-A-D-A-Y-Z. And it is just a really pretty, like, chunky, it's definite, like, chunky, purpley glitters in there. And I love glittery nail polish. Um, it's just, like, a really, like, there's purple, but then there's also, like, another color kind of mixed in. It's really gorgeous. I love the color of that. So I was excited for that. Um, like I said, they had different shades of the sinful colors. I had also seen people hauling this stuff. This is the Asepixia um, cleansing bar. This is just in like with the soaps. And again, none of this stuff is like Dollar Tree brand. Uh, but this is for uh, your face, I believe. And it's just supposed to help with removing dirt and oil. And I figured I would just try it out, see what it's like. Um, I wanted to see if it had a scent, but it's it's sealed. I can kind of smell it a bit through the wrapper. It just has like a, a clean scent. It's not very strong, so we'll see how that works. Um, I also found this, and this is actually a Dollar Tree product, but it's the phone stand, and I know other people have been hauling these as well. And it has a taco on it. It says, every now and then I fall apart. I thought this was super cute. Um, I always feel like I need a phone stand when I am in the tub because I like to watch YouTube videos when I'm, um, in the tub and it's hard because, you know, I want to be like laying down and relaxed and being able to just kind of have my phone off onto the side of me. So I figured this might help with with my phone how the heck how does this even work I, I don't i don't understand i just don't feel like this is like is this how it works like that like it just doesn't seem like it's very like there's no sword i'm looking for like it's not like held in in a safe manner. Like that's just gonna topple straight into my tub if I use it like that. And I don't like to have it up like that. I like to put it on the side. Yeah, I don't see this working at all for what I wanted it for. Oh, I'm an idiot, you guys. It goes this way. So it sits like this, but even still, like it doesn't have anything. Like I could just imagine, like if it falls forward, it's gonna fall into the tub, but that's what I wanted it for, to just like sit beside my tub so I could watch videos. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it doesn't fall into my tub. Um, but I got that just for that specific purpose. It's the only reason I need a phone stand. And then in the book section, I found a coloring book. This is called Journey in Color, a French Baroque coloring book. And I loved the illustrations in this. Um, like, check out this lady with a ship on her head. That's really cool. And just, let's see if I can find another one that stands out. Like, here's one of some pastries and things of that nature and this was originally $14 and what does that say 95 cents wherever it was originally sold so that's a great deal for a dollar they had all different ones there of just different um 
themes, I guess you would say. Uh, but I really liked the pages in that one. And then the last thing I got from Dollar Tree was just a pack of the extra sweet watermelon gum. So, mm. for Easter, my boyfriend got me the this Too Faced palette. It is the Life's a Festival. And I haven't even used this yet. I've been wanting to haul it first before I mar it with my eyeshadow brushes. Uh, but this is super duper cute. I love the packaging. Too Faced is my favorite, favorite um, makeup brand. So here is the little pamphlet that it comes with. And look at how cute this freaking palette is. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. And then this is what the, there's a mirror. And then these are the shades. And then there's also a Unicorn Tears um, highlighter there in the middle. So that is super duper gorgeous. Absolutely love the look of that. So I'm excited. Now I can finally play with it. So I got that. You know what? Let me do some swatches for you guys. Um, Let's see. We'll do Mystic Rain. Oops. Don't have a whole lot of euphoric that's definitely one i'll be using a lot of and artist pass and one of the unicorn tears the highlighter here are some of the swatches the highlighters here on the end there so i'm excited to play around with that Okay, I have a lot of like random stuff. Um, I got some stuff at Walmart actually, and this was just various various trips to Walmart. The last time I went, I got this Beauty Cube makeup brush drying rack. This was four dollars and some change. I haven't used it yet. I just got it the other day, um, but I'm gonna try it out and see how well it works. This is it holds two large brushes, four medium brushes, and eight small brushes. So I will try that out and see what it's like. Maybe I'll do like a review of that. Another thing I got at Walmart was this Precision Beauty um, Soft and Gentle. This is the original, what the heck is this called? A Conjac, Conjac sponge? It says it's a sponge made from the root of the Conjac plant. Um, it's perfect for removing impurities to bring out your brightest complexion. Um, soft when wet, firm when dry. The sponge is not infused or fragrant, so it's perfect for the most sensitive skin. This was on the clearance section, I think for like a dollar. So I figured I would give it a try. I don't know why it seems like condensation-y in the packaging. I think that seems really weird. I don't know, I don't know why that is, but um, I have not tried this out yet. It's still sealed. Another thing I got at Walmart was this Spa Scriptions Silicone Face Mask Applicator. I believe this was also um, $4 and some change, if I am not mistaken. And I got this because I thought it would be neat to use to apply like face masks and stuff. So it's basically just a makeup brush that has like a silicone kind of like spatula piece here on the end to just like be able to like put on, you know, so you don't have to dip your fingers into like messy face masks and stuff. So I don't know, I just figured I would pick that up to try it out. So I got that. And then the other thing I got at Walmart, and this was also in the clearance section for a dollar, it's by a company called Glam and Beauty, and it's just a nudes eyeshadow palette. So this was only a buck. Um, just figured I'd try it. It's 12, 12 shades of eyeshadow in here, and they're all really nice colors I would definitely use. So let me do some swatches of those just in case you are interested. I lost my... um applicator which is fine so here are just three swatches from the eyeshadow palette so it doesn't seem too bad we shall see 
Um, and then I got this from Big Lots. This is the, and I bought these before. They're the Appeal Hydrating Gloves. And these are only a dollar. I like using these from time to time. Just as like a little treat to my skin. And my hands have been feeling a little bit on the, the dry side. So for a buck, I figured I'd pick up another one. Um, also at Big Lots, I got this Mermaid Hydrating Face Mask for a dollar. I thought that was super cute the packaging. Kind of just suckered me in. So I figured I would try that out just for fun one night. So I got that. Um, I purchased this pack of chapstick off of eBay because I had to have the flavors. These were from a holiday collection. I don't know what year, but I really wanted it for this one. This is the chapstick caramel cream lip balm. Oh my gosh, this smells so incredible. I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. So I mainly bought it for that one, but it also came with the Holiday Cinnamon, which is really nice too. Very nice, like, cinnamon smell. And then also Holiday Cocoa, which smells like chocolate, like a minty chocolate. So, but yeah, I mainly got it for the caramel and it smells awesome. And then I had some money um, on Macari, 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 I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. Um, I sold some things on there. I'm not really a big fan of their, their platform though. So I decided I would just use the money I did have to purchase something. And I found this and I was really excited. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember Rocket City makeup. This came out in goodness this was 2001 this came out in um but their their packaging was so cool so this is the rc23 space case lip set and the packaging the packaging looks just kind of like futuristic not really a whole lot to it right but watch what happens when you press when you press You see that? It opens up on its own. And th there is the lip colors. So super cool. I loved Rocket City when I was younger and now I can add this into my collection. I will never use it, but I like collecting older makeup that you know I had when I was younger and really liked. So um, that's just going straight into my collection. So I was excited to find that it's one of those things you just don't come across very often. And fun fact, the girl that I purchased this from, I didn't message her or anything. I'm sure there's like a snowball's chance in H-E-L-L that she would ever like watch one of my videos. Or anyone who's watching this video, remember laundromatic.net. But she was a part of that um, website back in, this would have been the early 2000s, because I recognized her screen name. It was the same screen name she had back on Laundro. So I thought that was super fun and cool that like I recognized a fellow laundromatic user buying something off Macari like years later. I just thought that was so awesome anyone remembers that site and was a part of it, let me know. Um, my screen name was, I believe it was Pretty Debris. Fairly, fairly certain that was my username. Um, if anyone remembers and recognizes me, hello. And then lastly, I have some stuff that I purchased from my old work. I used to work for like a natural and organic um, distributor basically and they would have sales for their employees and stuff. They have sales for their employees, and sometimes it was open to the public, sometimes not. Um, this past time it was friends and family, um, and everything is like uber duper cheap. There's lots of food, it's obviously like natural organic stuff, um, and beauty products, like everything you can think of for like uber, uber, uber duper cheap. Um, I got a lot of food and stuff like that, but I mainly just show the beauty products. So the things that I'm showing, I either pay 50 cents a piece for or a dollar. No more than that. 
um because some of the things were two for a dollar and then some things were just a straight dollar and i never remember what section i've got stuff from so it was either 50 cents or a dollar and it's insane so these are the things that i got um i got a bunch of these my magic mud whitening toothpaste um i actually purchased this um when i used to work there um not full price had my employee discount it's activated charcoal toothpaste it's like the black toothpaste um it's a freaking mess. Have you guys ever tried the charcoal toothpaste? It is a mess. Like, I don't even really like using it because I feel like it just creates such a mess to use it. So I can't even give like a full product review because I'm just not always in the mood that morning to use, you know, my charcoal toothpaste. So I will actually start at some point and finish a tube and see if I see any results. But like right now, I just can't sometimes. Uh, but I picked these up. I do believe these were a dollar a box. Um, this one is in the wintergreen flavor, <laughs> I guess. I mean, you're not supposed to see your toothpaste, but you know. Um, I also got, oh, well, I got a couple boxes. This one was the cinnamon spice. So, and there's more than that, I know, in my bag. Um, I got these 365 um, cotton rounds. I think these are sold at like Whole Foods. Um, we distributed a lot of stuff to Whole Foods. That was like our main customer. Um, man, I do not miss that job. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but these are cotton rounds. So, use that all the time. I got these Acure Clarifying Acne glycolic and zinc towelettes there are 30 in there so again 50 cents or a dollar well, this is funny i got this um deodorant this is by schmitz and i had opened it because i put some on that day because i was starting to feel a little sweaty but the scent is called geranium flower and it smells so nice i really like the scent of that and it was doing me really well so whoops there goes the cap that's fine um but yeah i think it was doing pretty well so um i like that i got a jason power smile cinnamon power mint mouthwash it's sealed but I can kind of smell the, the cinnamon <laughs> from it. This is weird. Um, I found a L'Oreal McSeller cleansing water, normal to dry skin. I don't know what that was doing there. Sometimes they would get stuff from other companies that would like kind of donate stuff to be sold. So I'm assuming that's what it is because I know L'Oreal is no way in any shape or form natural or organic. Um, but yes, I did, I did find that there. And I know this was only $1, which is, it's crazy, but that's why I love going to those sales. And I got these Giovanni Too Chic Ultra Volume Shampoo. This is the, uh, oh, these are both shampoos. I thought one was conditioner. I'm losing my mind. Uh, but this scent is tangerine and papaya butter. And this smells really, really good. So I figured I'd give that a whirl. It says it's for fine, limp hair, which I kind of have. Um, and it smells so good. It's very, mm, it's very tropical. Perfect, like, summery shampoo. So that's fantastic. Um, this is another of the My Magic Mud. I, I pretty much stocked up on those just because I thought that was a great deal. I um, got this Alba Botanica Hawaiian After Sun Lotion it's Kona coffee um you're supposed to put it on because it revitalizes circulation um after sun exposure I guess just to like replenish replenish your skin I don't really smell a coffee scent to it too much it has a nice scent I mean it's pleasant but it's not like straight up coffee or anything like that. Got an Avalon Organics Wrinkle Therapy Cleansing Milk. Some of these things, like I don't know if I'm selling or not. I already did sell 
um, two Derma E moisturizers that I got at the sale, as well as two uh, deodorants. Um, so I don't know if I'm keeping this stuff or not. I just kind of pick it up because it's so cheap. Um, I got this Desert Essence Organic Jojoba Oil. And my best friend was telling me that you can use this to mix with a little bit of essential oil so you can actually wear your essential oil. Like if you want to wear your essential oil as perfume kind of thing, since you can't really put it directly on your skin, you mix it with a little bit of this and you can, you know, wear your essential oil as perfume basically. So I got that and it, I'm sure it has multiple, multiple uses. So I threw it in my bag. I got this Derma E Firming Moisturizer. This was also a weird thing to find. This is the Simple Soothing Facial Toner. And I'm pretty sure I've used this before and I liked it. Or maybe it was the wipes, I don't remember. Um, I got a The Honest Company Bubble Bath in Dreamy Lavender. Which looks like that. This is the Yes to Coconut Head to Toe Restoring Balm. And I just, I did try this already. And it's very, let me open it up. If I can open it up. It's super greasy. It comes with like a little applicator, which it's kind of pointless, the applicator really. Um, but the, the balm itself is super duper greasy. It smells really nice though, but it's just something that like, once it's on your hands, you can't really touch anything else or other, otherwise you'll just leave greasy fingerprints absolutely everywhere. I got a Derma E Hydrating Serum. Here's another uh, deodorant. This is by Primal Pit Paste and it is in lavender. I always wanted to try this brand, so I'm excited for that. I didn't open it yet. This is another L'Oreal Mixcellar Water. I I only saw two, so I bought both of them. Um, I don't know if there had been more and people had bought them up or not, but um, this one is for um, all skin types and it removes even waterproof makeup. So, got that. Oh, here's another... I told you guys, I got like a bunch of the My Magic Mud toothpaste. So there's another. I got this Thayer's Rose Petal Toner. Lots of, lots of toners. Um, this is the La Vanilla Pure Vanilla Deodorant. Um, this is one, I sold two of these already um, on eBay. So like I paid like 50 cents for this. So I did keep one for myself. Um, I got an Andalo Naturals BB Beauty Balm. This is a uh, brightening. Looks like that. This one, this didn't have a box. Obviously, it was brand new though. But this was fifty cents or a dollar. I also found this Clean and Clear. Again, something weird to find. Essentials Deep Cleaning Toner for Sensitive Skin. Let's get that. This is a Babo Botanicals Calming Baby Bubble Bath and Wash. This is for me. Um, in one of my my last yard sale haul, follow me around. I had some people saying that I look prego. I'm not. I'm just getting chunky. I I I gained weight. I'm I'm not pregnant. Um, but this smells really nice. It's lavender and meadow sweet is what it is called. I figured I would try that out. It smells really good. Um, they had this nail polish there called Piggy Paint. So I got a couple bottles. I got this one here. I don't know if it has. Yeah, the shade is called LOL. And it's just a really vibrant pink shade. I thought this would be cute for my toenails this summer. Um, I found a base coat and sealer. So these were like 50 cents a piece. And then this one is in the shade Jazz It Up, which is kind of like a baby bubblegum pink. I got one of these last time. It's just a Whole Foods soy wax candle in iced balsam. 
and it's just in like this little mason jar so i have a couple of these now because i bought some last year and it smells really nice it smells just like christmas trees so i might use this one as like a gift for someone this christmas since i already have a couple i got a couple essential oils these are just the aura cassia um, the first one that i got is wild chamomile i also got a clary sage and then I got a just lavender. So I got those. I got a lip balm. This is the Coco Kind Organic Lip Balm with Virgin Coconut Oil. And this is just mint. So that. Oh, this is an Angelo Naturals Lemon Sugar Facial Scrub. I thought that sounded pretty cool. I didn't even look at it yet. Let's take a look at this one. I want to smell it and look at it. So here's what the packaging looks like. Oh, wow. Mm. Yep, that smells like lemon. So that's just a face scrub. So I have to try that out. I got was this pack of and I got this whole thing for like 50 cents it's Burt's Bees lip shimmers and there were four in here but I gave one to my best friend who was with me because it was friends and family and she's my friend uh, but these are all of the Burt's Bees lip shimmers they're in the shade fig so now it has three um, I will probably put these two back for maybe like a giveaway or something. Um, you know what? If you're still watching, it's the end of this video. If you're still watching, leave a comment down below if you want to be entered. I will give both of these away. So, two winners. Open everywhere. Just comment down below. We'll do that. How about that? You can win a little Burt's Bees. Um, lip shimmer and fig for saying my whole video so that is everything that um, I kind of got recently as a collective haul just wanted to do it all in one big long video because I just felt like the Dollar Tree and stuff like that just you know it was just such a little of product really to put in its own separate video so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You'll have to let me know down below what you thought of all of these great awesome deals. It's like yard sale deals, really. Um, I love, love, love the sale when they have it. It's the only thing um, I really like about that job. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.